show you why you would use a variable. And, and what I'm going to do is show you a, an app. I've got a canvas, and every time I click on the canvas, I want to draw a circle that's twice as large as the previous one. Okay? So I'm going to go over the blocks editor. How, how am I going to make this happen? Well, certainly when the canvas is touched, I'm going to want to draw a circle. Okay, so I'm going to grab a draw circle function here. And I'm just going to draw this circle right at the same location as the touch. Okay, so I need that X to be right in there and Y. You know, and if I just put a number in here, like let's just put three, then wherever I touched, I would get this tiny little circle. And I've got my phone projecting onto the screen, so you're going to see these little dots as I draw them, right? So everywhere I touch a circle gets drawn. Okay, so my goal though is every time I touch, not only draw a circle, but then the next time draw a circle twice as big and twice as big thereafter. Okay, so to do this I kind of need to remember how big each circle is or how big the current circle is, right? So I'm going to define a variable. And a variable is just like a named memory cell. Okay, so I'm going to call this variable circle size. It's like a spreadsheet cell. And let's just start it off. Let's just start it off as three. Okay, so the first circle I ever draw will be three, and um, and then thereafter I want it to get bigger. So I'm going to grab a reference to circle size. So in other words, when I touch the canvas, I'm going to draw a circle of size or radius circle size, which is three. But you know this is a variable, so it can change. And every time I touch, I'm going to make circle size change. So I'm going to go over here to circle size, grab the set. So I'm going to change circle size and then I'm going to type in a an asterisk for a, for a multiply, right? And I'm going to say I want circle size to be, you know, itself times two. So I want to double it. Alright, so every time I touch the canvas, my variable circle size is going to be doubled. So it should become 6, then 12, etc. Okay, let's let's test it, see if it works. So I'm going to touch it. It should be 3 the first time. Okay, there's 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 a circle. Let me touch again now. I think it should get bigger. There we go. Now we should get even bigger. And so on. Cool. So I think my circle size is indeed doubling every time. Alright, so you know why did we define this this variable circle size? Well there's no property. So you've got, you've got a bunch of component properties, right? Like if I go back to the designer and, you know, my, for instance, my canvas has all these properties. So I've got some named memory cells. I've got some spreadsheet cells here where I can store numbers. In fact, I've got one called line width, right? If I was drawing lines instead of circles, I would need to define a variable because I've got a property that can be used instead, okay? But if I want to do circle size, you'll notice the canvas doesn't have such a such a property. Okay? In fact, it's just kind of a, a parameter. The raise is just a parameter of this draw circle function. So another, you know, for, for this sample, I need to define a new spreadsheet cell, a new memory cell, and I can name whatever I, I want, I name it circle size.